For this problem, we are required to derive an expression for the value of n moments and for deflection at midspan. Step number one, determine the value of wall shear and wall moment. Para sa built-in support sa point A, meron tayong shear at point A and resisting moment at point A. At para naman sa built-in support sa point B, meron tayong shear at point B and resisting moment at point B. Sa ngayon, hindi pa natin makukuha yung value ng wall shear and wall moment sa point A and point B. So, hahayaan lang natin siya muna na unknown. Step number 2. Sketch the elastic curve of the beam, taking into account the boundary conditions. Kapag nag-drawing tayo ng tangent line sa elastic curve sa point A at point B, horizontal yung magagawa natin na tangent line. Thus, the value of slope at point A is equal to 0, and the value of slope at point B is also equal to 0. At dahil din walang deflection sa built-in support sa point A and point B, therefore the value of deflection or y at point A and point B is equal to 0. Step number 3. Use the method of sections to determine the bending moment m at an arbitrary distance x from the origin. Para sa problem na to, yung point A yung kinuha ko na origin na x, Pero pwede din naman na sa point B kayo mag-origin ng inyong x. Mag-take tayo ng moment at distance x. Moment is equal to EIY double prime is equal to shear A. Magkikreate yan ng clockwise rotation sa distance x, kaya positive. Shear A at ang moment arm niyan is x. Yung MA, counterclockwise kaya negative, minus MA. Dito pa lang sa equation na ginawa natin, kinonsider na natin agad yung sign ng moment. Minus P, ang moment arm niyan hanggang distance x is equal to x minus L over 2. Step number 4. By integration, integrate the expressions for m twice to obtain the value of EIY. Integrate lang natin yung ating moment equation or yung EIY double prime. Equal yan sa EIY prime or yung slope equation. Shear A, ang integration ng x is equal to x squared over 2 minus MA, x minus P, x minus L over 2 squared over 2. Huwag natin kakalimutan yung constant na integration. Tawagin natin C1 for EIY prime. Integrate natin yung EIY prime. Equal yan sa EIY or yung deflection equation. BA over 2 multiplied by x cubed over 2. 3 minus MA x squared over 2 minus P over 2 x minus L over 2 cube over 3 plus C1x plus C2. Isimplify ko lang yung deflection equation equal to sa BA x cube over 6 minus MA x squared over 2 minus P over 6 x minus L over 2 cube plus C1x plus C2. Step number 5. Evaluate the constants of integration from the boundary conditions. Dahil sa point A tayo nag-start ng x, therefore, in yung 0 mark natin. So, when the value of x is equal to 0, the value of y is 0, y prime is equal to 0. At kapag nasa point B na yung ating x, when the value of x is equal to L, the value of y is equal to 0 and y prime is equal to 0. Ito na ngayon yung ating boundary condition na magagamit natin para makuha yung value ng C1 and C2. Yung first boundary condition na gamitin natin is when the value of x is equal to 0, y prime is equal to 0. Using the slope equation, y prime 0, x 0, x 0, x 0, kaso negative yung term na to, not included. Therefore, the value of C1 is equal to 0. Next boundary condition, when the value of x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. Using the deflection equation, hanapin naman natin yung value ng C2. y0, x0, 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 kaso negative yung term na to, not included. C1 nakuha na natin, which is equal to 0. Therefore, C2 is equal to 0. 
Yung next boundary condition na gamitin natin is when the value of x is equal to L, y prime is equal to 0. Using the slope equation, y prime 0 is equal to BA. Palitan lang natin ng L lahat ng x, equal yan sa L squared over 2, minus MAL, minus P over 2, L minus L over 2 squared. Yung term na to, L minus L over 2 squared is equal to L squared over 4 multiplied by P over 2 equal yan sa P L squared over 8. Tawagin natin equation 1, yung equation na to. Yung next boundary condition, when the value of X is equal to L, the value of Y is equal to 0. Using the deflection equation, 0, B A, Palitan lang natin ng L lahat ng X sa equation. L cubed over 6 minus M A L squared over 2 minus P over 6 L minus L over 2 cubed. Yung term na to equal sa L over 2 cubed which is equal to L cubed over 8 multiplied by P over 6 which is equal to P L cubed over 48. Tawagin natin yung equation na to as equation 2. Next is ipag-equate natin yung equation 1 and equation 2. Pag-subtrakin lang natin yung equation 1 and equation 2, then i-multiply natin ng L over 2 yung equation 1 para ma-cancel out yung MA sa equation at makukuha na natin ngayon yung value ng shear A. Ito na ngayon yung kakalabasan na equation kapag minultiply natin ng L over 2 yung equation 1. Dahil magpe-perform tayo ng subtraction, 0 na ngayon yung value ng term na to. Next, BAL cube over 4 minus BAL cube over 6 is equal to BAL cube over 12. Negative PL cube over 16 plus PL cube over 48 is equal to negative PL cube over 24. Using this equation, makukuha na natin yung value ng shear A, which is equal to P over 2. Using equation 1 or equation 2, meron na tayong value ng shear A, makukuha na natin ngayon yung value ng MA. Equation 1 na lang yung gamitin ko. Using equation 1, I-substitute lang natin yung value ng BA na P over 2 para makuha yung value ng MA. 0, shear A is equal to P over 2, L squared over 2, minus MA, ito yung unknown, times L, minus P L squared over 8. Lipat natin yung MA L sa kabila, equal to sa P L squared over 4, minus P L squared over 8. Pag sinimplify natin, yung value ng MA is equal to PL over 8. Due to symmetry, the value of MA is also equal to the value of MB. And the value of shear A is also equal to the value of shear B. Pero ipangita pa rin natin yung magiging answer kapag kinumpute natin yung shear B and MB. By taking the summation of all forces vertical is equal to 0, shear A plus shear B is equal to P. Shear A is equal to P over 2 plus Shear B is equal to P. Therefore, Shear B is equal to P over 2. Mag-take naman tayo ng summation ng moment sa point A is equal to 0. I-take natin lahat ng counterclockwise as positive. Yung Shear B muna, mag-rotate yan ng counterclockwise. P over 2, moment arm yan is L. Ano pa yung counterclockwise? Yung MA, so positive, P L over 8. Yung shear A, wala yung moment arm, 0. Next is MB, clockwise, kaya negative, MB. Next is yung P, clockwise din, minus. P, ang moment arm niya hanggang sa point A is L over 2. Ilipat natin yung MB sa kabila ng equation. Equal yan sa PL over 2 plus PL over 8 minus PL over 2. Cancel. Therefore, MB is equal to PL over 8.
Para sa last question, pinapahanap sa atin yung value ng deflection at midspan, yung boundary condition natin para dyan, at x is equal to L over 2, ito yung midspan, what is the value of deflection? Meron na tayong value ng shear A, P over 2, at yung value ng MA is equal to PL over 8. Using the deflection equation, PIY is equal to shear A, P over 2, over 6. Palitan lang natin lahat ng x sa equation ng L over 2, L over 2 cube, minus MA, PL over 8, over 2, x is equal to L over 2 squared, minus P over 6, x is equal to L over 2 minus L over 2 cube, 0 na yung term na to, C1 and C2 is equal to 0, by computation, EIY is equal to negative PL cube over 192. Arranging that, the value of deflection at mid span of the beam is equal to PL cube over 192 EI downward.